And so on our physical exam a few weeks ago, we had determined that a lot of his neck pain and actually some of his shoulder pain was coming from his cervical facet joints. These are the joints that are gonna lie between each of the levels of the vertebra connecting C6 to C7 as an example, or C4 to C5. Now, this very, very rarely happens, but on one of our tests for the facet joints called Sperling's Maneuver, we actually recreated his anterior shoulder pain with this maneuver. So when we tested the facet joints, we actually recreated some of his anterior shoulder pain, which is really, really crucial to understand because there are so many times when providers are not doing these thorough enough evaluations, patient comes in and they just have shoulder pain, but they're not getting a neck assessment at the same time and understanding that there can be this connection between them where we can get pain in the shoulder, front side and back side, that's actually coming from the neck. The other things that, so with that then, what we did was we did a thoracic erector spinae plane hydrodissection at the level of T1. Our goal there is to bathe the medial cutaneous branches that are coming off the dorsal rami at a multi-level area. So we are trying to get the fluid to bathe those nerves roughly from about C5, C6, down to about the T2 region in the hopes to calm down some of the inflammation around those facet joints. And then we also treated inside the facet joints from C5, C6, all the way down through C7, T1. So we treated that for the neck.